Good morning everyone, thank you very much for coming uh, this morning for our uh, launch of Operation Safe Holidays. Uh, I'm Superintendent Anthony Furavanti, the officer in charge of Traffic Support Branch. We hope you don't see you is a message that we want the public to hear from the South Australia Police. We hope that the people during this school holidays, this festive season, that see you are your family and your friends. We don't want to see you as a result of your offending and poor driving behaviour. We hope you don't, we don't see you as a result of a crash and we definitely we hope we don't see you as a result of a serious injury or a fatality where you've, you've lost your life. But over the past five years, uh, over this period of Operation Safe Holidays, which is a two week period, We've had 27 people lose their lives. 160 people involved in serious injuries and nearly 1,200 people that have suffered minor injuries or other injuries. There is really no reason why this public holiday, or there's really no reason why over the next two weeks we need to have any serious injuries or fatalities on our roads. For this period we'll be for this period, we'll be concentrating on the fatal five, which are those five factors which contribute to trauma on our roads. So that will be seat belts, drink and drug driving, speeding, distraction, which is normally mobile phones, and of course, dangerous driving. At any time of the day or night, we will be out there and you may be stopped for any of those offences. And you definitely may be stopped and asked to test for alcohol or drugs. So if you are stopped for alcohol and you have been drinking too much, it's quite possible that you'll end up in the, in the back of this bus behind me, where you'll be supplying a breath analysis, which then may impact on whether you have a car over the holiday period, whether you have a driver's licence, and then of course down the track there'll be a hefty fine and loss of demerit points. So it's up to you as drivers to make sure that you do your right thing. We hope we don't see you this Christmas or this holiday period. Is it a sad reality that you will see some people out there, obviously? I mean, this holiday period, all holiday periods, we know there are extra people out on the road. People are going and visiting friends and family. They're driving in locations that they're not familiar with or longer distance that, distances that they're used to. And just one split second where they're not concentrating can have dire consequences. So we're asking people to really concentrate on what they're doing, plan their journey, go with someone else so that you can uh, swap drivers when you need a break. And if you're gonna drink drive, uh, don't. You know, organise uh, someone to pick you up, public transport, or stay at the event that you're at. The Christmas parties, obviously work functions. Uh, every year it's a big target. This year, don't expect to get out of the CBD without passing one of these buses on the way. At any time of the day or night, people could be stopped over the next, well, could be stopped at any time and asked to uh, do a, an alcohol test. We will definitely be running operations. Some people will have notice of. Some will be high visible. Some you just never know. Someone will come around, a police officer will come around the corner and all of a sudden stop you. We're closing in on, on a road toll above 100 for the first time in a couple of years. How concerning? How concerned are you by this, this spike this year when it comes to deaths on our roads? History is going to tell us that lives will be lost in our road over the next couple of weeks. We've already lost way too many lives and it is a concern to us. What drivers have to understand is it does have a ripple impact. It doesn't only impact on them, but on their families, their friends, and of course, all the emergency services. We don't want this Christmas to be remembered by your families for the wrong reason. Will you be flexing up your amount of people? How many extra people will you have on the road in your branch percentage wise? Across the entire state, we're asking all police, whether they're metropolitan or country based, to focus on road safety. So there will be times where we will have extra police on the roads, 
However, at any time of the day or night, they could be stopped for any offending. Given the, the bad history around this time of year, um, is there anything you're doing differently this year? The, is what you're doing previously not working? Well, it's really difficult. Um, sometimes, or quite often, there's no rhyme or reason as to why there is a fatality or a serious injury. So the thing is that we, we need to be everywhere. But not only police, drivers and other road users need to take responsibility for their own safety and safety of others. So we ask people to abide by the laws, think about themselves, think about their families and think about other road users.